All right, what up guys today we're playing some more microsoft flight simulator and in today's video i wanted to go over a little bit of a caveat with the p51 mustang so if you have the reno air races for microsoft flight simulator you may have run into this problem if you were flying the p51 mustang i, I would assume i'm not the only person who has been confused by this but somewhere at around the eight minute nine minute mark in the middle of the race the engine will just kind of stop on you your airspeed will just start slowly slowly going down and your rpms will start going down too and you'll be sitting there what the fuck did i do wrong was i like uh was i banking too hard was i upside down or something like how did i manage to kill the engine was i just pushing it too hard like did i did i heat the thing up and blow a gasket like what happened so i i went through several races before i had just kind of given up and i was playing with the thing in you know free flight mode and i was having the same problem so it's definitely not something connected to the race i've been experimenting with like different power settings it seems to happen on power level 75 percent 50 percent doesn't really seem to matter where you set the power this problem seems to exist regardless and through looking it up on the internet i actually finally discovered that this is just how the old planes act so it does this with the other planes like the spitfire and the p40 any of these like old warbirds or whatever and it took me a wildly long time to realize this because uh, you'll notice that we have the fuel gauge here and you'll notice that when the engine quits on you You'll, you'll still have fuel in the tank. So in my mind, I'm not thinking that this could be a fuel issue in any way, shape or form, right? Fuel was like the last thing that I had thought of. And I didn't, I just, I never thought to think that like, you know, maybe, maybe it's just the fact that one tank is out of fuel and I need to switch tanks. And that is actually what the entire problem is here. So if you're like me and you're sitting here confused, wondering why your engine keeps stopping mid-flight while you're in the middle of these uh, Reno air races, well, it's just because you need to switch your tank, buddy. And uh, yeah, that's that's literally all it is. It's just you ran out of fuel in one of your tanks and you need to switch it to one of your other tanks. Now, I don't know which tank is like the largest. Maybe the center tank is like the largest and you might have enough fuel in the center tank to not have to switch. But yeah, as far as I know, you should be fine running your plane at 100% power during the Reno air races. I think you're probably looking at a time at around like 10 to 11 minutes or so um, if you're going full speed. And then of course you can shorten that a lot if you're really good at it i'm not that great but yeah the power doesn't seem to be an issue uh the heat doesn't seem to be an issue the manifold pressure doesn't seem to be an issue at least not for like the 10 minutes of racing and you are going to be guzzling a a decent amount of fuel which is you know why the left tank just completely runs dry and you need to switch tanks it's because well you're guzzling quite a bit of fuel when you're at the full throttle on these bad boys so anyways i thought i would just share the knowledge because this one was bugging me for a while and then also i guess a little bonus tip here while we're on the topic of uh running this plane at 100 percent the other thing that i learned is that uh you're pretty much not supposed to do that like even on takeoff you're not even supposed to run this plane at full throttle or any of the warbirds really and i want to say and i'm I, i'm again i'm not like a professional when it comes to these things but you see the rpm gauge there and you see where it's green that should give you an idea of the range that you want to be running this engine and I'm gonna try not to hit my nose on the ground real quick, but you'll see here that the RPMs can go up quite a bit here if we're actually going full throttle on this bad boy, right? And I don't even know, I think I can still unlock um, emergency power. Ooh, 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 no, 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 oh boy, ah, that was too much. Uh, but yeah, as you can see there, you don't actually need full throttle there. You have plenty of torque, even at like half throttle, you have plenty of torque for like takeoffs and other like aerial maneuvers and whatnot. But when it comes to general cruising and whatnot, you definitely, definitely don't want to be running this thing at full throttle all the time. During the races, again, it's fine because you're, you're going for time and it's like a 10 minute sprint basically. So it's not the worst thing in the world to run this thing full power during the races. But you, you will have to start worrying about things like coolant, and uh, I guess your manifold pressure, your oil pressure, whatever you call that. The other thing too is the fact that uh, of course these planes have a butt ton of torque. So you are gonna struggle on takeoff if you're running this thing full throttle just because it's gonna be pulling you to the left so hard. Another reason why you just shouldn't be running this thing full throttle on takeoff because it's just, it's so hard to control at full throttle. It just really is. But anyway, that's it. Just wanted to give this cool little tip to you guys because uh, it's been 
driving me nuts for a few days here trying to figure out why I can't finish the fucking uh, Reno races. And it's literally just because of this little fuel switch because it does not automatically switch your tanks like a modern plane would, right? So anyways, again, that's it. Remember to switch your fuel selectors and I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter. And of course, as always, for as little as 99 cents a month, you become a channel member, help support this channel monetarily, help me pay some bills around here, that sort of thing. Yeah, that being said, I'm Plock the Master Gamer with some Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.